Hey YouTube family, how you guys doing? Welcome to a brand new episode of you and I building gear in my basement. <laughs> Let me show you what we got going on. So my buddy Barry from The Barry Show <laughs> just uh, dropped this off to me about a week ago. It's a cabinet, a 212 cab that he built and uh, he said uh, he wanted me to have it. So it's pretty cool. It's all um, epoxied. So this is all epoxy paint. It's nice and hard and uh, looks very vintagey. And there's a nice, you know, uh, frame for the grill clot. So basically today we're going to put a couple speakers in there. I got a 12 inch for the bottom. I got an adapter ring for the top with a 10 inch speaker going on the top. And we're going to install all this stuff from next gen. I got a handle here. I'm going to put on the side of the cabinet. It's got some pre-wired uh, plugins. And this is going to be wired like two different cabs. So I'm going to have both speakers are going to be totally independent because I'm running a dual quilter super block amps. One amp is going to the bottom speaker and the other amps going to the top speaker. Let's get this done. All right, <clears throat> so for these handles, I need a three by five, three this way, five across this way. So I just measured my points here. I'm gonna run this thing to the shed. I'm gonna get a right angle ruler and make my lines and then cut this out. All right, just cut a hole in this cab and Oh, perfect fit. All right, handle is in. Piece of cake, easy job. Three by five, cut it out, good to go. All right, so one inch and a quarter hole saw. We'll do this nice little hole, which will perfectly fit this jack input plate. So next thing to do is wire these up all right input jacks are installed that was a piece of cake these uh pre-wired kits i got from next gen made the job super easy so these i ordered so i can you know run the speakers you know as a unit down the road if i choose to but right now they're going to be run individually so one input for each speaker all right so i had to give the speaker holes a small trim because they were cut at exactly 11 inches for a 12 inch speaker. But you kind of need 11 and a quarter inches to uh, compensate for the bevel on the back of a speaker. So they were fitting a little snug in there. So I widened them up a little bit. And this is the mounting system I'm using. It's uh, kind of the old Fender style mounting system where these screws, it's a double tier screw. So this is the part that the speaker nut will actually screw onto and then this screws into the wood. So they go in this way and the speaker mounts from the rear. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hold on, Jason. If you're using those types of mounting screws, that means you're going to rear mount the speaker. And if you rear mount the speaker, you don't need to widen the hole because the speaker is going to be behind it anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> And yes, you're right. However, uh, I need to widen the hole for two reasons. My 12 inch to 10 inch reducer ring needs to go in that hole, right? The way it works and it won't fit. It's too tight. And the other reason is because I want to sit the speaker from the front of the cab inside the hole to mark my mounting screw holes and the speaker will not sit flush on the baffle board because 11 inches is just a little bit too tight. So that's why. All right, so I installed my 12 to 10 inch reducer ring that you've probably seen in another video if you've watched that far back. <laughs> and on the other side, So it looks like this, that should work out great. And then I'll connect the 12 inch speaker at the bottom. 
Now I have hit a whole other level of stupid. <laughs> so the cab is done and I missed a whole bunch of video. Uh, not because I didn't record it, but because when I thought I was recording, I was actually paused. And when I thought I was paused, I was actually recording. <laughs> so I had a whole bunch of video with the iPad either on the floor, pointing at the ceiling, me walking around, getting stuff. <laughs> so I wasn't able to show you guys the whole process. But let me show you what I got so far at least. All right. So here is the back of the cab, all finished with the speakers inside. In the bottom, I have my 30 watt, 12 inch warehouse guitar speaker, Black Hawk speaker, uh, which I had in a small 112 cab. And then at the top, I have my reducer ring with a 10 inch Jensen El Nico speaker and not the 25 watt speaker and as I mentioned earlier they are wired separately so one of my quilter amps will go here and the other one will go here the front side looks like this uh, that was a super easy job so all I did was smear some carpenter's glue on the back side of the frame I pulled the grill cloth around on each side and stapled it in place and then I did the two ends all like top and bottom did the same thing and then I did the corners last and then all I did was I stapled some velcro in each of the four corners and a strip in the middle there I'm just able to push that grill onto the face of the cabinet and it you know the velcro just holds it in place so it's great worked out fine so it kind of looks like there's a huge speaker at the top and a small one at the bottom but actually what you're seeing there is just the outer edge of the reducer ring and my 10 inch speaker is mounted from the rear and then the 12 inch speaker is at the bottom so that's why it kind of looks that way so a little walk around um, I got some rubber legs at the bottom they were already on there Barry had installed those so there's that handle and everything else is super clean there's nothing on top and the back which i just showed you and the other side and that's it very simple i did order some cab corners but i made a mistake when i ordered them um, these cab corners i ordered they only fit rounded cabs and the only thing round on this cab is the front edge. All the other ones are uh, square edged. So I'll have to find a different mounting system. So, sorry about the lost video guys. Um, but it was a fairly straightforward process. Uh, really not hard at all. And now instead of carrying in two cabs to a gig, I just have to carry in the one. All right, well the last thing to do is uh, do a little sound check. So I have the Musi, of course, and I got the pedal board with the two quilter amps. I guess maybe I can, there you go, see that maybe a little better. And I have the cab here, kind of trying to point it at you. Now I am using my iPad and the audio uh, recording capabilities of this iPad are terrible. Um, I don't know why, but the microphone is not as good as my cell phone, but my cell phone just, uh, doesn't do it anymore. It just freezes all the time. So here we go. So here's the top speaker uh, with the ABY box. Here is the bottom speaker. Thank you. 
mic but it sounds awesome in the room anyway there we go that's the speaker cabinet once again Barry thank you very much you're the man uh, greatly appreciated really really uh, wasn't expecting uh, a gift like this thank you bud you guys thanks for following me on this take care God bless and we'll see you in the next video